Hey, Apollo Baptist Church, Pastor Gary here on the Apollo Underground Vlog. Um, man, what a crazy week. VBS is behind us. Uh, kids camp, youth camp are in front of us. Um, we got a lot of great stuff coming um, this summer. It's been a really busy summer. A lot of new people. Um, kind of, we had five uh, people in Discover Apollo. You know, oftentimes this summer is kind of a, a lull, and I, <laughs> I just haven't felt that at all. I have felt like God has some big plans for us. So uh, we've just been uh, plugging away. Um, our reading Galatians right now, <clears throat> and in our Bible reading plan, I, I've just had a, I don't know about you, but it's been really uh, edifying to me, you know, this idea of of a false gospel, right? Where Paul says, look, look I, I don't understand how you're deserting so quickly to another gospel. Not that there is another gospel, but there are people that are leading you astray. Um, that are telling you something else. And that false gospel was basically that, as far as we know, uh, it, it originated from Jewish Christians who wanted to subject every Christian under the old Jewish law. Not that the law was bad or wrong, but that there were civil um, uh, laws, there were, there were cleanliness laws that were no longer relevant. Now, there are other laws like sexual morality laws, laws protecting the poor, um, laws about idolatry, like those are still relevant. And that's why they, they go through that in Acts 15 at the Jerusalem Council. But basically, Paul is relaying to the, this church, well, I, it seems a, a number of churches in Galatia, uh, this decision from the Jerusalem Council saying, look, we're under grace now, before, forever. Um, and you can't go back. We're not going to go back to works. So he actually says that in, in chapter three. He says, are you so foolish? Like, having been saved by grace, like being uh, saved by the works of Christ, uh, are you now being saved by by the law? Like, no, that's not what the law was. So I, I, it's so great because I've got church members that struggle with this all the time. All the time you have Christians that at some point um, go start going back towards works and start going back towards Oh, well, you know, I was saved uh, by grace, but I'm going to have to really earn my place here. And sometimes it happens right after salvation, where either because of the poor discipleship process or uh, or because of just some bad decisions, you just kind of start falling out of grace. Not that you, uh, not that God's not giving you grace, but just you're just not accepting anymore. You're, that you're performing again, which because you have the Holy Spirit, it's possible for you to trick yourself into thinking, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Because before you were a believer, you couldn't do all these works. Well, now you can because the Holy Spirit's been training you. He's He's telling you, oh, you want to do this? Oh, yes, I do want to do that. I do want to be in church. I do want to love my neighbor. I do want to do that. But if you, but it's tempting sometimes to think, <clears throat> because of the new nature you have, that, oh, because I can do more works, that works is exactly what I'm living in. Not that it's it's... That's what, in, that's where how I get heaven. I mean, you may not say that, but that's how you act. Uh, your favor with God is completely based on works. Um, even though you would say I'm saved by grace, you're you're living um, by works, which is not true either. I have a cool story to tell you. Uh, we had a parent in our VBS class uh, the, that Rez and I taught uh, that uh, you know she was really chewing at it on everything we were talking about and she'd never been to a Bible study before like like what we were doing and just never really been able to really dissect the Bible the way it makes sense. I knew God was wrestling with her but you know we talked about salvation on the last day but you know she just wasn't ready to have that talk yet and so I was praying for her. Uh, last, so this Wednesday just two days ago uh, we were you know we had ch children's choir started and um, <clears throat> and we had our meeting for kids camp. Uh, the parents that were, who were sending kids to kids camp. Um, and uh, it was so amazing. <laughs> it was so cool. Um, Kathleen, uh, Kathleen was there. I mean, this, this, uh, this parent was there. And uh, I was like, hey, what's up? I mean, because I knew her kids were going to camp. Like, I mean, uh, well, what, what, what's bringing you in? She's like, man, I've just been wrestling with God ever since. And I was like, I know why. And she's like, I don't know what's missing. I know what's missing. You know, she's like, I, I don't know what I need to do. I know what you got to do. So I was like, let's go to my office. So we went to, uh, we went to my office and, and, uh, 
and, and you know, the kids camp meeting was was going in the next room and, when I, and i had to be there but i was like no i don't i, I i'm and you know just shared the gospel with her again about how to how to receive christ and she she prays to receive christ right then and there and she's going to be there on sunday and so lord willing we'll be baptizing her soon but praise god another i mean angel celebrating in heaven another sinner who has come to god and she's texting me since the uh, god is doing great went home and told my husband he was excited uh for me um and so it's it's great so i can't wait to introduce you to her sometime but that's what's happening keep reading galatians i will see you on sunday or if i don't see you i'm sure you will see me